At the beginning of the series, I was talking about playing within your means. If you're a woods player and you're playing with a mechanical in, in a speedball field, you're not going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys and all that other good stuff. But I want to talk more about the physical limitations. Some of you guys are going to be playing with a remote line, kind of like this one over here. And if you're playing with a remote line, you can switch hands, which is an important skill to learn, but that's a whole other story. If you're but uh, if you're playing with a remote line, you really can't switch hands all that effectively. Or you might be able to, but it's going to be really like this pulling against your body. It's not going to be very comfortable. So one of the things that you really kind of want to learn is shooting out the other side of the bunker uh, with your dominant hand. Now, I can already hear a lot of the speedball guys saying, it doesn't work that way. But my theory is if it's ugly, but it works, it still worked. So... Okay, if you're going to do this, instead of shooting normally, which is for me a little bit with the cant on the inside over here with the gun in the shoulder, I'm actually going to move the gun a little bit towards more the center of my chest. I'm going to bring my arm in like this, so I'm playing nice and tight, and I'm going to take a couple shots. Kind of like that. Now, uh, this is not the most effective way to do that, and a lot more times than not, you're going to be shooting like this. You're going to find really ugly ways that, that will throw paint down range. But a lot more times than not, if you can, it's more important to throw paint down range than it is to have perfect form. So do what you got to do. Basically. Now the other thing too is that you'll notice that I've still got the cant on the inside. I've still got my hopper angled like that. Now in this case, it's not really going to matter because this is right in front of my face. So instead of hitting me right in the goggles, they're going to hit the front end cap of my, uh, of my hopper over here which is not entirely a bad thing. I'd rather clean this than this. I, I can already hear me the speedballers all saying, oh, you gotta learn how to shoot lefties. You gotta learn how to do it this way. It's the only way to do things. Uh, pound it into your head. Uh, but, um, this is a survival guide, folks. This is not exactly for the high-end tournament guy. This is mostly for the rest of us walk-on guys who just want to play speedball once or twice, kick the rest off, and uh, get ready for the summer season.